So we have completed the, you know, design part. So now we'll actually uh, fetch the data from the product table using PHP MySQL. So I have write PHP script here. So here I have to, you know, uh, start session. So I will say session start. Session start. Why? Because I need to track the user. Only admin can access this page. Without admin, uh, nobody can actually access this page. Okay. So that's why I have start session here. And I need to include the db.php. Why? Because the db.php contain the connection, right? So db.php. Here, uh, I will say that if uh, is set session, is set session. Okay, if you set a dollar underscore session variable, we will say if user ID is set, okay, user ID. Because in our login.php, here you can see we have a set session ID is user ID. So I'll say here if session user ID is set, okay. And let me just copy from add product, okay. So it will actually, you know, take too much time. So let me just copy from here. Okay, so I will check the role is admin or not. If not, then actually we will uh, go for the dashboard, user dashboard. But if we uh, don't have any user ID, so we'll actually go for the login or index.php. I mean the home page. So here you can see, uh, now actually I'm going to write SQL. So I want to actually fetch the data from uh, products table, okay, products. And uh, here, I want to set the results. So result. Okay. The result will be this. So I fetch all the data from the products table. Here you can see the table name is products. Okay. And uh, I have set it inside a result variable. Okay. Uh, and the con dollar con is the uh, connection variable and the SQL query. And this is the function actually for the execute, I mean the query execution, okay, MySQL query. And now I don't need it. Uh, let me just remove it. Okay. Done. And need. remove it that's it and here uh, i will check it okay so if result is not execute we will actually paste the error else we will actually uh, say that okay uh, now actually i want to fetch the data now actually i want to fetch the data so i will go to the table and here in the row okay uh, this this tr okay uh, under uh, I mean inside the T body we will say here question mark PHP question mark and your type uh, sign okay so we have write PHP script here and we will actually uh, create a variable that is row and I want to actually set uh, you know I want to fetch the result as associative variable so I will say here my SQL I uh, query okay my SQL I uh, fetch the data as associative array. So I will say SOC. Okay. So this is the function actually. So here I'm going to actually pass the result variable. Uh, so I, I'm going to pass here the result variable. Okay. So the result variable is passed. And uh, actually I can have, you know, uh, in my database multiple data, let's say. So uh, we can, uh, I mean, we, uh, we have, uh, let's say now only one data, right? But we can have multiple data. So, so, uh, that time actually we need to you know uh, uh, do here i mean need to run here while loop so i'll say here while okay and i will actually keep it inside of while loop parameter so yeah like this and i want to actually remove it from here why let me show you so i actually want to fetch the data in the table row and then actually i want to close it so i have to write one once more php script and here I have to close the second curly braces. Okay. So I have uh, closed the curly braces. And here in the first TD, I actually uh, want to fetch here the first column name. So 
dollar underscore row actually i need to you know write here one uh once again php script okay so let me just write here php script every single time if you want to write any php code you have to keep it inside php script so i say here echo and i would say dollar row the variable uh and we know that in associative array we need to uh, access the column name through call uh, i mean we need to access the column data through column name so here the first name is name okay so i say here name and let me just copy it for the description also so i will say here description description and here also and that is for the price okay so i'll say here price price i think this one is stopped right yeah and we need image so i will write here here i have to write image tag this and in the source i will have to give the uh, image folder location so we are in the admin folder right i mean admin directory so we have to give here two dot and slash because we need to go to the root directory so now we are in the root directory and now we have to go to the image folder and then we have to click slash and then we have to write here php skip so let me just copy it and paste it here okay okay and i need the name is hines okay so image for uh, file name right uh, sorry uh if i go here you can even see the column name is image and then we need category name so uh i will say here and there is category name okay so a a g y category or dot code name okay now let's go here and check uh okay so we have to log in first yeah in at gmail.com because that actually we wasn't logging right so that that's why actually we are in the login.php so we have to log in first and then let's go here and i will actually go for the view product okay so i have to give here location uh, so i will go to the dashboard.php here you can see we are in the display.php right okay so we are in the rt body okay, so we have to go to the dashboard and let me just Copy the whole HTML part. Okay. And let me copy it from here. And actually, I want to paste it here. And I need to remove all of them. Let me just copy them. Cut it from here and I will go to the style section and I want to paste it here. Paste them here, okay. Not paste it. So I need to just copy the table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I want to actually cut it from here. I want to remove the HTML uh, extension part actually. So that's it. And in the div actually, I'm going to paste here. Yeah. So now uh, view order. And now we have to uh, go to the dashboard and we will actually go to the uh, navbar. And here you can see view product. We just have to mention the class, I mean, our PHP file name for the view. That is display, display product product dot php. Okay. Here you can see display product dot php. Now, if we click here, now you can see we have a nice uh you know table here you can see product title product description price stock image category name action and action so we can actually fetch it uh you know in a, you know in correct way right okay now we can actually update and delete so we have done our uh, code coding part here okay so this is the display.php so we have done the fetch uh you know so i've shown you how you can actually fetch the data from the database so thanks for watching see you in the next video till then goodbye